based on uh, single arm data from the phase one and phase two trials of crizotinib, um, we knew that crizotinib does have a very high eff efficacy in patients with advanced alpha-positive non-small cell lung cancer. Um, and based on that efficacy and safety data from the single arm trials, crizotinib did receive accelerated approval by the FDA back in August of 2011. The data that we just uh, have published um, today is really data from the first randomized trial comparing crizotinib head-to-head -head with standard chemotherapy. All of these patients were previously treated with frontline chemotherapy, so that they were technically in the second-line setting, and these were out-positive patients who were randomized to receive either second-line crizotinib or a standard second-line chemotherapy, such as pemetrexid or docetaxel. And the study's primary endpoint was progression-free survival with um, standard secondary endpoints like response rate and overall survival. The study clearly met its primary endpoint, showing a superior progression-free survival with crizotinib compared to chemotherapy. Uh, <clears throat> the progression-free survival improved from three months to almost eight months in the study, showing favoring crizotinib therapy. And in addition, in terms of response rate, there was a near tripling, actually over tripling, of the response rate. With chemotherapy, the response rate was about 20%, and with crizotinib, it was 65%. So this randomized data really confirms what we saw from the single arm trial, showing very good efficacy, and also shows that in this group of patients who are out positive, crizotinib clearly is superior to standard single agent chemotherapy.